Good morning, guys. So, Craigie went down to the front, the centre town, and got breakfast this morning for us. So, mm, health. Mickey waffles, and eggs, and I got Mickey waffles. In here! Is that good for Lovely. Morning! So, you just saw us having breakfast, but now we're washed and dressed and ready to go. So we are heading over to the Skyliner to head to Epcot and we managed to get a return time for Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, so they're not currently boarding our grip yet. So we have some time just to wander around and take an Epcot and we'll see if we do anything before that. But yes, so we're off now to get the Skyliner to get over to Epcot. Welcome aboard, Islanders. You are on the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. We're flying to Disney's Riviera Resort with continuing flights to Epcot. That's so where we find the Skyliner stops at one of the little stations. Not well, there's that many. You get this horrible circus mirror effect in the window. on our boarding group, we have 130 minutes to wait. But like it's, it's going down quicker than the actual time. Like, oh, we interrupted. We are now arriving at Epcot. To all who come to this place of joy, hope, and friendship, welcome. And anyway, as I was saying, before I was really interrupted, <laughs> um, 130 minutes, but it won't actually be 130 minutes, because like literally 20 minutes ago it said 210. So, but yeah. So it shouldn't be too long. But that's, we're boarding group 71 and I refreshed it probably about a second past seven. We have made it to Epcot. Woo and Epcot, also, we we're getting free bubbles. Woo! What a day. There you go, just for you. Nice bubble oh, you. Thank you. Thank you. What a day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, made it through bag check. It's the first time I've ever got my bag searched. That's what, I get. Like, that's what I get for it in Universal Studios bum bag at uh, Disney Park. We're in the Britain bit, we go through and laugh Should at all the prices the of everything. Oh. Oh, we go through and laugh at all the prices of everything. Yeah. 4.45. Is that the stuff you get in home, in, bargain. home bargain for like 8.9p? That's alright. That's so funny. Okay. What's that? Never seen it. Never seen it. Oh, there's Munchies. How much do you pack out of Munchies out here? Three ninety five. Three ninety five. Family comes in the house. Three forty five. Three forty five. Oh wow. Forty three is. How much do you think? Well, regular price is actually about two fifty, three fifty pounds. Nineteen ninety five. Nineteen dollars. Okay, strong breakfast. Too hmm. No pressure. Nothing on there. No. Doesn't say. Oh, oh well. Like corgi pajamas. A little corgi eye. That's hilarious. Right. Oh, feel that. Oh, we're all, we're all going around with corgi bucket hats on. Look at these. Twenty nine dollars for some very, very, very British ears. <laughs> Just as a beef eater. Yeah. Oh, I forget where the poo's meant to be, sort of British as well. Hey. I'm going to the Crown and Crest. Monty Python stuff. Oh, cool. I'm going to do Monty Python stuff. That's random. Spam egg sauces and stuff. How much of Jammy Dodgers here? $4.95. Oh, I missed this. How much is that? $5.95. There's the Rouge and Creme. <laughs> the chip shop, and yeah. Very quaint, idealistic version of Britain. Yeah, I'll have a look at it, sure. Oh, it's just a bar. Yeah. 
Yeah, it really is, actually. Oh, there's Hart. There's Hart. Northern Ireland is represented somewhere. Kingdom cheese pie. Scotch, Scotch egg. Scotch egg, really. Bangers and mother. Oh, sorry, I'm missing it. Kind of a. Yeah. Not many miles away. So now we're going into Canada. Which is cool. Cool. I don't know. The, I don't know what the entire short the castle's representing. Yeah, it's cool in here. Samus Flash. Is this a stereotypical Canadian thing than having the the bum bit? Yeah. You've had a rough life. Thank you so much. <laughs> That is isn't too much. Oh, that would be nice to stay back home. Yeah, and that, the boil. Oh, yeah. Let's go, you know. Oh, that's a game of money. Very much. Good ones are good. Yeah, why does, that, why does the British merchandise suck? <laughs> Remember, she, the merchant mold in this lodge and stuff was cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Remember the cotton shirts? Be fair, I do. I'll wear that. Hmm? Mm. Coffee crisp. 4.45. Reefer bar with coffee cream. Ooh. That'd be nice. Ow. Yeah, they're nice spirit jars, yeah. Oh, you didn't find it. Have you seen it? Well, that one's not too bad. I'll sing that one. Oh, yeah. okay. oh Canada also has old style film boxes as well. The thing here for food and wine as well. It feels nice just standing here as you're getting gently splashed with the water. Canada is Le Cellier. Isn't that the, uh, the fancy pants steakhouse place? It's really, apparently the best. Australia, grilled sweet and spicy bushberry shrimp. Oh, that sounds nice. So some places, there's some countries have booths that don't actually have lambs here. This is an example of one of those. We're going into Pub Cool. I know we've been here last trip, but you get free drinks in here technically, so I'm going to exploit Disney for their worth. <laughs> There's a spirit jersey we haven't seen. I was about to say, what about white You have a, a Coca-Cola spirit jersey. A shining bastion of capitalism. So, the joy one from Korea isn't fizzy, so if you want a drink that isn't fizzy and you can just keep filling it up, which will be the one I get. Okay guys, also a good little tip to know is that you can, off the back of the shop, you can also get cool cooked and stuff. For some reason, it is absolutely ram with people, and it's normally a really short wait, so maybe give that one a miss for now. Probably on a, a hunt for a cash machine because we're going to Space 220 and I don't have, oh my hair looks disgusting, um, we don't have cash on us, we need card, and the whole, the whole tipping culture here is kind of awkward if you tip by card, I feel. We can just tip by card, but I know, it seems weird. Um, but the cast member told us it would be in the figment like shop, but it's not here. I looked up on the map, but it's at the very front of the park, so we have to go all the way to the front of the big wall. Yay! So we're just near the Disney Pixar short film festival, which is kind of near where figment is. And we have these cool dancing fountains. Oh, okay. yep. oh there we go. Yeah, these ones are more impressive, aren't they? Oh, holy cow.
construction for the Moana section right in the middle of the park as well. Unfortunately these walls are up, so the whole middle of the park is empty here. It's kind of annoying to get around at the minute. If you're also caught short for cash like me and need to withdraw some, the only cash machine I could find is out of the park. So there's the ball, here's the exit, and the cash machine is over there. We're just here, out of the park. So you have to go out of the park. You don't have to go through security, but you go out of the park, put your money in the car, back in the park again. Very annoying. There wasn't even one, at, I couldn't even see one at the gateway, although I wasn't looking for it at that point. But when you look at the map, that's the only cash machine there is in the whole park. I'm just going to have a quick look at Connections Cafe. Well, it's Connections Cafe at the Starbucks, isn't it? Yeah. And if you go all the way around, there's Connections Eatery or something. Yeah. yeah. Just to add to even more of the food options, we're going that way. Yeah. There's one building, one side Starbucks, the other side's the cafe. There's all the different ways of making coffee on that. A French Bistro Burger, a French Bistro Burger, an American Classic Burger, hamburger chicken sandwich, pizzas, salads. It looks a little cut above regular theme park food anyway. Also guys, also there is lots of seating in here so it's probably a good place to come if you want a little air con break, right? And wireless charging on some of the tables as well. Yeah. So we just looked up the menu on our mobile and there's actually lots of allergen friendly stuff to eat in here. So if yeah, like loads and loads. Like loads and loads. loads. So if that's you, this is your place to come and, come and eat. Is it? No. No. So we're currently in the spirit of Xandar shop. This is the gift shop. You go past and you come out of Guardians. The stuff is really cool. It is cool, isn't it? Like it's kind of right that's cool. I like the cups. Look at the little cassette tape. Oh, cool. That's where the mug's cool too. That's quite cool. It's got the cups there. That's the thing we ride on. Yeah. Oh, they're all on it. Oh, that's quite cool, actually. What does it do? This is a key ring, I think. What oh, noise was I making? Like the tape going back in that noise. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Nice music. Does it? Yeah. There's a coat so you can dress up with Star Lord if you wanted to. Not sure why you want to do that, but you could. We haven't done that. You can mobile check out now from the shop so you don't have to go to the cash register. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you can scan the stuff on your phone and then just walk out the door. I think someone checks. Well, oh, someone will check. It's quicker than using the till. D, I'd uh, get this for you, but unfortunately I'm not paying for it. Yeah. With stones? You have to pay for them separately, do you? So it says with stones. Oh! I was going to say, I had to pay for the stones too, that'd be a joke. It's so cute. How oh, much is that? It's pretty cool. pouring out in there. Oh, did you see the mug on the other side? Good. Even though it's a fake plant, that's why. That looks like some out of ET. Does he dance? No, he just sings. Oh. He just sings. That's weird. It's like a stress ball. Oh, there's a rocket. <laughs> that's just weird. So our groups have been called for Guardians. Woo! So we're going to quickly go to the toilet, as is always necessary before getting on rides. And then head over to it. And then I'm not going to... I filmed some stuff on the GoPro last time we were here, so that's in like one of the previous videos. Yeah. I'm not going to film it on this camera because I'll probably drop it because you get whipped around quite a lot. Plus it's quite dark anyway, so it's, and it's really very dark. So if you want to see it, if you haven't seen the other video, check that out. Go back and see it. Watch it. Okay guys, we are just off Guardians again. Honestly, so that ride. 
It's just so good. As people say, it's literally like Space Mountain but on steroids, yeah. isn't it? So we found out there's six different songs to play on it. Because we got the same song as we got the first time. Oh, I love that song. But it was so, so typical. We got the same one. Oh, it's so fun. So fun, honestly. So good, guys. You definitely that have first to come drop, and do it. Oh, oh geez, you are, that's the bit that they get the photo, and I just I don't cope with yeah, the feeling. Yeah, they get the photo when you're literally like. Ah. You fall back and then you suddenly spin and it's like oh. <laughs> but yeah, it's so good. That's okay. The rest of the ride is it's so good, fun. and the screen and all around it. There's nothing else. And they're like having it. the guardians are just having this chat the whole time. Yeah, the whole so thing. It's good. Quite fun. We're back at Connections Eatery, which is just outside of the Guardians ride. And we thought we'd just relay some information. Oh, your app's working, yay! So, when you come in this side door near Guardians and go straight to your right, there is a water station. This water station, and the water out of these things is, is actually nice, it doesn't taste like Florida water. So, it's like filtered water. So, it must be filtered. Yeah. So, it's handy to know if you need to fill up your bottles or anything like that. Yeah, because bottles of water in Disney World are like $4. And it's not even spring water. And you can get smart water, but that also isn't spring water. So it's just not worth it. Hey, look how many bottles I see. 50,480. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there should be more. Shouldn't it, really? Yeah. Mm. It's very cool looking ride. Just, and then Space 220, which we're eating, is just over there. My hand, is my hand in shot now? Just over there and around the corner. Okay, so you go ahead. Oh, okay, so I mean, some space has a green side of it. No. So if you go in the green side, the eyes are going to miss the orange side. Okay. It's so intense. Yeah. It's, just so much the green side, it's just a simulator. The orange side spins you around. And then it's basically like a centrifuge. So you are literally spinning, if you put your arm and you just spin round and you feel the g-force and all and if you look away during the ride at the screen you could be sick. It's very very intense. So we are going to do the green side. The orange side, the orange side is so much better but like when you go up, when you go up in space on it you really feel the g-force hit your body, like your face goes funny but it really does make you and ill. also lots of people have come off that ride and actually been sick. Yeah. So, so we'll show you the green side, which is just a gentle stroll around the earth. Still cool. Right, it's still cool. It's made for ages. It is very cool in here, though. Although I would say it's probably starting to show its age a little bit now. Yeah. I'll be able to show, actually show some. At least on the, at least when we're not doing orange, I can actually show you some of it. I couldn't possibly hold the camera up on the orange one. Welcome in, everyone. Hi. Sorry, I think I said that wrong. What I meant to say was, at least we're doing green, which means I can actually show you how it works. I could not possibly hold the camera doing orange. to the International Space Training Center. You're here today to train for the greatest adventure in the history of mankind. Navigator, pilot, commander, or engineer. The success of your mission will depend on all of you working together as a team. However, if you are made uncomfortable by enclosed dark spaces or simulators, you may exit the flight training area now. Ask a uniformed crew member for directions. Where's your brain your fan in the space neck? Well, that's the main thing. Alright, T5, right up here. You're welcome. Ready to go? Ready yeah. To go. Congratulations, team. You have been selected to train for a spectacular mission around the Earth. Your flight path will take you west across North America, Asia, Europe, and back home to Florida. You're gonna love it. T minus three minutes to go. Okay, listen up. Here are your assignments. Navigator. You'll be adjusting the pitch of the X2 if necessary, and firing thrusters for your descent. Pilot, on my signal, I'll need you to trigger first stage separation. You'll also be triggering the landing sequence. Commander, you will be responsible for activating the flight sequence and for activating manual control if needed. Engineer, you will activate the flight cameras when we reach altitude. You will also extend the wings for landing. Don't worry. When it's time to push the buttons, they will light up. Then I'll give you the go. One last thing. In the event of an emergency landing, there are control sticks at every crew position. Please follow the markings on the floor to your X2 trainer and begin boarding now. 
You go ahead. Oh, she's tight. Door door door. Door. Yeah, there's even sick bags on here, but you definitely, you definitely won't need them on this one. Jitsu is an excellent ship. Your job will be to trigger hey. first stage separation oh, and trigger the landing Off the sequence. Space. <laughs> Surgeon, how are we doing? Your assignments are to activate flight sequence and for landing, activate manual control. So, loading flight plan. It's very tight in here now. Just a reminder, you will activate the flight cameras when we reach altitude. You will also extend the wings for landing. I don't know what you can see, but yeah, it's very close to in here. And this isn't even the intense one. And then there's like a... Might not show up well on the camera because of the red light, but there's a, like a simulation screen in front of us. And I have to hit all the buttons to get out the ship up. Yeah, and then we've got to crash land because there's no one on either side of us. Um, but yeah, so the orange one, you'd get in this and the entire thing would spin on an arm to simulate the launch, whereas this one's a nice, easy breezy one. It's actually nice not having other people live with us because we can actually just have a look. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready to... Uh Pilot, that's bad boy. Here at Mission Control, wish you a safe journey around the planet. Thanks, man. In the other one, you crash land on Mars. Oh, we're tipping back. Two. So this bit on the orange one is incredibly intense. <laughs> yeah. Are we supposed to be doing things? The computer, the computer does it for us. Initiated. Navigator, initiate thrusters to adjust pitch. Now. Is that, is that me? Initiated. Engineer, activate flight camera. Now. I don't know who's who. Computer override. Initiated. Your flight path today is taking you across the So you can tell we're tilted back, like we're currently upside down, like we're facing up right now. Oh, and that's the other mission going off into to Mars. It's gonna be a rough landing. Which button are we supposed to press? Uh oh. Commander, activate manual control. Now. We've lost autopilot. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. Alright. Uh oh. 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 Because I was filming. Oh, nice. Head back. Oh, releasing restraints. Lost it now. Yeah, this gives you an idea of how the whole thing works. So the whole thing moves on those arms. But then on the other side, this entire thing would spin round as well. On the orange side. Yeah, on the orange side, the whole thing would spin and make you throw up everywhere. Yeah, so when down. Okay, guys, you actually come up to this like. Advanced lab, space lab thing. It's got like a little kids player. You can do some cool things in here. Plus, it gives you some time in the aircon, right? Next.
Expedition. What is that? Explore Mars or Expedition Mars? Expedition Mars. Right, postcards from space. Let's see what this is. Watch the screen again. Yeah. Sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure I speak English. What we do, take me to your leader. This looks awful. I don't know what to say, so I'm just gonna ramble on. Two seconds left. <laughs> He's behind the green screen. Look below. So I will email it to myself and then... Wow. Big budget, boys. Big budget. <laughs> okay, so they don't give us a physical menu. Here it is. You can pause it as and when. It's right next to the entrance of Mission Space. Ignore him. <laughs> Are we going in here? Hello. Ooh. Race to space. Elevate your name. This is our boarding pass to the space station to have lunch. It's not often you can the space for your meal times, is it? Waiting to get into the um, lift. Oh, what is it? Sky lift thing? I don't know. But this is basically the restaurant we're going to. Looks like I haven't been to that before. Okay, so this must be the lift we're using to go up into space. I'm trying to get to like, oh, we're going into space, Nicola. Mm -hmm. Yes, 
coconut, blue cotton candy syrup, lemonade, moon dust, and moon rocks. Craig says. I like year lemonade, so it's fresh squeezed lemonade, butterfly, pea tea, and mint. Tuna tartar. Isn't it? Yeah. Mm. I just had tuna tartar and the classic pop rocks. Yeah, keeping it classy, that's <laughs> voice. This place is amazing. It's even the music, you probably can't pick it up on the camera, but it's really nice to be in sort of space music playing. <laughs> Craig went for the burger. Yeah, it's got one small. And then look at the wedges. Oh, whoa. Oh. And then there's a massive pickle, as always is. I'll eat that for you. <laughs> it's okay. Today, breaking against tradition, I just put a little tiny bag. So I don't have ponchos or umbrella with me. And guess what? It's chucking down with rain. I was just saying, this is the third time. This is the third time we've been caught out with the rain without our wet weather stuff. Ponchos said, no chance of rain, guys. Don't trust the floor weather. It's like back home. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, friends. Hello. So we're just out of the Space 220 restaurant. After we were out the rain. Yeah, and we thought we would share our views because you know I'm honest and like to be real with you guys. So honestly, it's a once and done for me, Craigie. It's a once and done for me and my bank account. Because, right, so it's a prefix menu, so you get an appetizer and an entree for $55, which isn't the worst because I guess they're working out like $30 for your main and whatever for your appetizer. Yeah. But. but then like drinks and all are included, which is fine, but that total bill came to $145 without tip. So that meal was more expensive than Sana and Ohana, which we really rate. Yeah, there's nowhere near as nice. And there's nowhere near as much food. The food, in my opinion, I thought was, I was going, like the whole theming is unreal. The lift you get up, the things, like all that you saw, that's done amazingly. But the whole idea of the food, I thought you were going to, I'm not, I don't mean them expect space food, but I thought it was going to be more space more themed. Space themed yeah. And it wasn't, it was just like, you saw mine, it was just like steak and fries, Craig got burger and wedges, maybe bad choice in our opinion. Yeah, the starters were good. The starters were good. Yeah, the um, rest of it was just very... Generic food. Generic food, yeah. So I was saying to Craig, like literally we paid $55 
for what you feel. We've got a drink too, so yeah. it's seventy dollars each. Yeah, seventy dollars each, and I just oh. feel a very generic experience. Oh. Other yeah. than the generic food, sorry, you were paying for the unique experience. It's really cool inside, but then it's quite loud because there's mad people, so you can't really hear the ambient. There is ambient space music playing, but you can't hear it super clearly all the time. So, as we always say, we're lucky that it's just us two. If I was to take a family of four or five there, I just feel you're kind of outpriced. I just feel it's a lot of money. I wouldn't bother. A lot of money for just getting the experience of going to space and seeing that. On the lift and all it's cool, you've yeah. got space with it. The yeah, Imagineer not, behind it's it. It's not worth, the experience isn't worth the price to no, be paid. No. It's a better experience than Sci-Fi Diner and that only costs about $50 in total. Yeah, it's way cheaper. So that's just our views. Of course, if you love it, good. But as we've said, we're glad we've tried it because we've always wanted to and when we saw it opened, yeah, it was something that we always wanted to do. But definitely for us, it's a once and done and the food doesn't even compare to last night and the last night's meal was cheaper considering yeah, the amount so we ate. Yeah, it's just It's mad. just mad. But yeah, so that's just our opinion. So we're now going to have a little nose around Epcot. The rain has gone off. The temperature's cooled down, so it's actually ideal for yeah, me right now. Yeah, it's right now because of the rain. Yeah. So yeah, let's go have a nosy. Right, so we also got these collectors. Yeah, they, like, what's you call them? Pokemon, but like, space. Yeah. Because we got one of their drinks. Are they? Not worth it. I don't know. What is on the back? Just facts. Oh. <coughs> that was um very disappointing. <laughs> See, the drink, we got special, well, they, we call them speciality drinks for the non-alcoholic cocktails, and they were $12 each. Of and course, I, of course I ordered them against Nicola's best advice, because I didn't really pay attention to the price. And they definitely weren't worth $12. I was expecting some sort of uh, bubbly space explosion, but yeah, we just got, got a few pop rocks with we it. We got incredibly small glasses for them too. <laughs> yeah. But we're going to go on Spaceship Earth. Uh, and then we're gonna go buy our Epcot mug. So we've got the full set. And then but we're gonna go back to the resort and go to the pool, but I don't know if it's gonna rain again now. I think we're, we're cursed not to go to this pool. There's more of that rain we might supposed to get today as well. Nick was always on the phone when I'm on the camera. Have a wee picture. A wee picture. I love this ride. It's so cosy. Go ahead. When it's raining, Craig makes me come in here so we can have a little nap. I wish you could fall sit on this ride. But I mean it as a compliment. Yeah, it's your beautiful. One thing I would say about this ride, when I first went on this, <clears throat> when I first went on this in 2007, the last bit had really cool music playing as you went down. Oh, you Does anyone else remember this? Because when I look up on YouTube and the year I went, it's different music. But in my mind, there was just really cool music playing that I always think about. But I don't know if I just made that up in my mind, because I've never found it since. Probably made it up, guys, what we're saying. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Here's the ride vehicles that I haven't shown you before. So, some of the animatronics on this ride are actually some of the old animatronics from the Hall of Pistols that we don't use anymore. So, if you take a close look, you might recognize them from somewhere else. Welcome to the future. 
or should I say, your future? <laughs> well, I'm doing it. Here in your future, getting away on vacation is a breeze. Your smart suitcase knows where you're going and what you'll need. And with solar power from your home fueling station, you're on. You won't have to worry about your pets while you're gone, thanks to handy household robots. Oh, a family car. The getting there is half the fun. So your family car will be equipped with virtual tools to teach you about the world outside your window. Spaceship Earth, now the rain's even heavier than it was when we went in. It's so annoying because I bought that lighter bag, it's so typical. <laughs> uh, right, so I'm in the shop, I want to get the Starbucks mug, but I'm going to actually try this um, mobile ordering thing. Go there. And then we're at Creation Shop. And then scan and I'm see how this works. Oh, sorry. Okay. okay, so it says I have to scan the item. Oh, I scanned it instantly. And there's the mug. So hit check out. So you have, you just don't have, you have that. And I'm assuming it'll let me do Apple Pay. Wow, that was easy. And then I just show this to a cast member on the way out, and that's it. It's apparently meant to be quicker doing that, but there's also a queue here, so I don't know if actually it was, but oh well. That's Hello. Hi. Hey. So we're just heading back to the Skyliner, um, because we're not really sure what we're doing. We're going to go to the room and get like a Gideon cookie. Yeah, I was thinking I'd look, find something sweet, but I forgot we've all these cookies sitting in the room, so... Um, so we'll have that and maybe like a little drink and then decide what our plans are for this evening. I wouldn't mind going to our pool. Yeah, same. If our pool's open, maybe we just do that. Yeah, we could go to the pool. Even actually. though it's currently raining. Well, it's not raining now, but it was. <laughs> yeah. Um, usually when it's like... In, what, what's that word? Inclement weather. Yeah. yeah. The, they close the pools and stuff, but we'll see. If not, we'll find something to do. I mean, we're I mean, we can always come back here in the evening and do World Showcase and do all the Epcot food and wine stuff. True, or we can go into Disney Springs again. Yeah, we'd have a bit of Disney Springs or and get, and get uh, an Everglazed donut. Mm -hmm. um, we still have the fireworks to do, but tonight in Magic Kingdom is actually a Halloween party, so it shuts early tonight. So no, that's puddle, 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 puddle. Oh no, big puddle. Ah. Uh, yes, we can't do Magic Kingdom. But that's fine. We'll Animal find... Kingdom closes early. We're we'll already here. And if not, we'll, we'll go see. Resort Hobbit and bring you guys along. Yeah, we'll do something. We'll do something. <laughs> so we made a boob. We're going to the Skyliner because obviously we go to a resort that way. And I forgot the rain has rained it off. Oh, actually, it's, it's moving. It's just gone. Oh, I take it. I take it all back. You can kind of see it through the rainy door. That is Disney's very own fire station. Because they're that damn big. Hi. Hi. So we've come back from Epcot, had our Gideon's cookie, some nice juice, and nice now tools. we're going to go get in the hotel pool. Finally, I'm going to have to pull this trip, yeah. I know. So we're going to um, use a GoPro from now on because we don't want to leave this camera beside the pool. Yeah, so we'll go get the GoPro, so it might be less clear footage, but you know. No, the footage will be clear, the t it's the sound, Sorry, the sound. it's the sound, it's, it's, sound. it's a bit weird. Muffly sound. sound, yay. And then we will see you when we're back in the okay, room. Love see you, you on the much. GoPro, bye. bye. Okay, we made it into the pool. Well, that's right, we're not in the pool, we're and outside the pool. Yeah. But we're we'll trying to keep the recording on us. So it's like, basically like an old fort. Yeah. Oh, there's that slide as well, honey. Oh. That little slide. And then, there's a slide out there too. They pick up the towels there and then they change the rooms and all that sort of stuff. Hi.
Well, our pork's pretty good. Yeah. We're all mostly dried. Nick was mostly dried off in the pool. Oh, I've got my wet. And yeah. you're all going to call us boring, but we're actually going to Disney Springs again, would you believe? We were going to go to Wilderness Lodge and go do this. There's some show there, isn't there? A Chip and Dale thing. Yeah, and you can do like like a, a, there's like a campfire marshmallow thing. You can actually do that here too. Yeah. But it's cool. And then you can go to Magic Kingdom from there. But there's a Halloween party. No. Aye, Halloween party on tonight, isn't there? Yeah. So, so we don't see the point in trekking all that way just to do one thing. Yeah. So we're going to Disney Springs again. But this time, I get to try the one thing I've been wanting to try since I got here. Evergreen. Everglazed donuts. Oh, yeah. Part of me hopes, a little part of me hopes they're better than Voodoo because they're easier to get to. Like, they're easier to get than, than Voodoo because Voodoo's universal. But at the same time, they're like four times the price. So, we will see. We finally got to Disney Springs. The bus took forever. It did. And I'm being dragged into Zara. We just have a little window. I don't really mind, to be fair. Uh, yeah, exactly. well, I, I enjoy it. I just sent you. Because they always have cold Disney stuff. Yeah, they do actually, to be fair. So, Nicola, what did you say about Zara when you walked in? I mean, it's really cold Disney stuff, but there was How much Disney stuff did they have? Zilch. Not a thing. Perfect. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to go into. Oh, sorry, Disney Springs is always really like noisy, so just in case you can't hear me. You can go here during the day and it's really nice and quiet. Yeah. Keep them awake here at night. So, we're going to go into the Cook store and have a little nosy. Another phone being dropped around us oh. and have a little nosy up there because they're like. Yeah, the Coke bar right at the top. The Coke bar right at the top and there's some cool stuff, so we'll go take a little nosy in there. This is the longest walk up to the top floor. Yeah, yeah it really is. Yeah, it's only round the corner like four times. Yeah, right up to the top basically. It's good for your wee legs. No, that's fine, we're going the way back. So there's like three floors, guys. The first two floors are like. Coke merchandise with like tops, homeware, stationery, a bit of everything. And then the top floor is the... Also, serious question. Do we look like a dad from the 80s? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> and then we're going to go to... Oh, and then the top floor is the rooftop bar. With lots of Coke products. I think I went to get in last week. Tipped in you about giving you subliminal messages the whole way up. We're up at the top and then this is the view down below. It's actually a cool place to come and see everything. So Chicken Guy is down there. That's the place that's really popular. Uh, Guy Ferrari, the food, the food, is it food? What is it? Food, man vs food? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, well, there, yeah. The original yeah. run of it, I think. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Um, it's really popular. It just obviously does chicken tenders and chips. Then we've got Planet Hollywood. AMC, which is like a dining uh, movie theater. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool up there, and there's the air balloon in the background. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll go see. We got our hooks from around the world. We got a huge tray of them. We got this envelope. We get this little envelope, and inside it tells us what's on tray one and what's on tray two. Okay. So this is this one up first is from Tanzania and it's called Stony Tanga Wizak. Okay. Not that you'll be able to hear this, so I'll be able to sign it. Oh, it's like medicine. That's alright. It's like spicy. Oh it's spicy. It's like ginger in it. Yeah. It's like ginger juice. Yeah, it tastes like spicy ginger juice. What's your rating out of 10? Four. I say four too, the ginger's a bit weird. Two. Okay, so two is from Germany, and it's the Bonacqua Fruits Apple Pear from a butcher that. It's like apple juice, but then the taste just drops off. Oh, it's kind of weird. Isn't it? Okay, that's about a four as well for me. Yeah, I'll give it a four. Okay. Okay, next is Mazo Blackberry from Malawi. Oh, oh wow. Oh. Oh, it's not busy. I know what that tastes like, but I'll see if you say something. What do you think it tastes like? Say one thing. I 
feels like I know what it is. Flat Coke? <laughs> no, no, no. That's like flat Coke to me. It's more free. I think so. Yeah. Okay, I give that, I give that a five. Uh, I'll just give it, yeah, five, I guess, yeah. Next is from Indonesia, fresh tea, green tea, honey. Oh, interesting. That is boring again. Yeah. Oh. That's not too bad. Oh yeah, that's nice. Not too bad. So from Indonesia? I'll give that six. Yeah, I'd say six. It's not copying you, but... No, copying me. Alright. This one? Five. Try one. Yeah. Five is Del Val, Jamaica and Nada from Mexico. It's called Jamaica, so it's Jamaica and nothing. Oh. oh, I don't like the smell of this. No, that's vile. That's absolutely vile. That tastes like cough syrup. Ugh. It's like cough syrup and Polish furniture yeah, Polish. That's a one. One. One for Mexico. Sorry, uh -uh. Mexico. Okay, so this one is number six. Fanta Colita from Costa Rica. I guess that's a variation of Fanta. That's Iron Brew. Is it? It's so like Iron Brew. That's Iron Brew. That's, that's a Scottish drink. Wow! So the Costa Rica Funda Colita is literally like Iron Brew. Like Iron Brew. That's mad. Okay, there's number seven. Next is from Panama, Fanta Strawberry. <gasps> no way! It doesn't taste like strawberry to me. It's nice, but it just tastes like sweetness. Too sweet for me. It's okay, I'll give it a six. Oh, uh, no, four. Four. Did we write that one? Did we write that one? Oh, the iron brew one? No, I didn't. I'll give that. I'll give that seven. I'll give that six. Okay, and this one is called Thumbs Up, but without the B in thumb. And it's from India. It looks like yeah. Coke. It's like cleaner. It's like it's like Coke with um cleaner like, in it. Like nutmeg in it or something. No, it's like Coke with someone's like sprayed the tables with disinfectant. Oh, disinfectant Coke. Uh, I give that a um, two. No I, one, no one. I'd give it a two. It's better than the other horrible one. Okay, yeah. we're going to swap the tray round tray to tray two. two. Oh no. Oh no. We've had this one in uh, Epcot. You know when we go into Club Cool, you guys will have seen that by now. The world famous Beverly. Oh, it's so rank. Oh, it's so disgusting. Ugh, that really is like medicine. It actually gives you that feeling. Oh, it's the worst one. It leaves like a coating in your mouth. Zero. It's really gross. Nah, Beverly can go. That can actually just go away. That's Beverly's gross. from Italy, if we didn't say. Okay. The next one is from Zimbabwe. Sparletta Sparberry. What's a Sparberry? Oh, that sounds nice. Oh, that's weird. It's mad how much they all look alike bar this one over here. That one, it's like the taste drops away. Oh, well, I don't mind that though. But you get a taste and then it just goes. It's like it's not like super sweet, which probably is why I prefer it. No way. Okay, I'm going to rate that one a seven. Nah, I'll give it a four. This is a cucumber sprite from Russia. How are they still, how are they getting this in a minute? Yeah, I like that. That's better than regular Sprite. It's so refreshing and I love cucumber. It really does taste like, I know that sounds stupid, but it does taste like cucumber. Do you know what? That's a nine. I don't know that far. I'll give it an eight. No, I really like it. Okay, nine for that. Stop if you want to show it, I'll read it out. We have Aquarius Libra. Libra, Libra. From, from Spain. I'm an Aquarius. I realise that means nothing, but you know. That means you're going like this one. No? It tastes like rose petals. Oh, that is awful. It tastes like pressed flowers. No, it tastes like... I don't even know. That's just not nice. That's a, that. that's a two. It's not a 
as far as Beverly. I would give that a three. So next up we have from Thailand, Funta Melon Frosty. Oh, so it's green though. I bet this tastes like sweet. That is so sweet, but it's nice. Oh, it's so gassy. It's like those melon hard sweets you get. Yeah, yeah. I'd say seven. Um, I go six. Number six. Fuse berry tea from Georgia. Oh. Oh, oh it tastes like iced tea. It tastes like the peach iced tea we like, but that was sweet. Oh, I like that. That's my favourite one so far. And eight. I give that a nine. I like that one. Okay, and then an from ultimate from one. In Inca Cola from Peru. Inca Cola? Cola. It's it's weird saying cola when it's not brown. Yeah. Oh. It's like a more intense but like sweeter Coke. Too sweet for too sweet. It's like more. regular Coke but like extra sugary or something. Nah, no, that's like a three. Yeah, I eat uh, five. You I don't think drink. I'd drink it. It tastes fine, but I think that would like hurt your teeth after all. And finally, we have from China the Fanta, Fanta Sour Plum. Plum. Stop. Just it, drink it, don't it smell smells it. Like, it smells like ketchup. What? Oh my god, that's disgusting. <coughs> oh my god. It tastes like ketchup. That is disgusting. That is disgusting. What the heck? It tastes like tomato ketchup. That is disgusting. Nah, that's it. That's oh. as bad as Is Beverly. that the little Oh yeah, it might be. That's gross. No, I can't. Oh, I was gonna torture myself. Nah. Oh my god. Oh. That's so sick. I think in top place, actually. That's, sour plum is the worst. Along with Beverly. Like Miles, by Beverly. And the, the fused berry tea is probably up there for us. Yeah, I think my favourite is... Georgia. This one. Sprite cucumber. Oh. And the Georgian uh, berry tea. Yeah, it's the exact same for me because I rated that one and that one the highest. So. Yeah. Russia with the Sprite Cucumber and Georgia with the Fuse Berry Tea. Yeah. So the little book says that uh, basically how Coke was invented and then it featured 16 sparkling and still beverages to show you the taste of um, the diversity of all the Coke beverages. So all of that was $15 and most of them were average and half of those were horrible. But here, where else would I get to try Coke from around the world? And you know me and Craig, that is right up our street. Yeah, there's also another one you can get, it's more expensive, where you can get this and Coke floats. So, so you can get Coke float variations of these. And it includes two trays. I imagine Beverly with ice cream. Oh. We'd need like four, so maybe next time if we have people with us on the trip we can do that. So yeah, cool. hopefully oh, you enjoyed sorry. trying. Oh, 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 sorry. Hopefully you enjoyed trying. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing us try all of these Cokes. I don't know if you're going to drink them all right now. Yeah, I suppose I better try. I'll drink some. Uh, some of the nice ones. Okay guys, so we're out of the Coke shop. Oh, I don't actually know if you can see us. You know I what? feel like my teeth are gross now because the amount of sugary drinks we've just drunk. I know, and you, we didn't even drink them all. Um, I was just going to say yeah. that we, it was so hectic up at the top when we were ordering. So I didn't actually get to show you guys the menu, but you can get really cool Coke floats and stuff up there. In case you don't want to be as crazy as me and Craig and try 16 Cokes from around the world, you can just get like a really cool Coke float. Yeah, there's or, really like, cool Cokes, like different like you can get regular vanilla Coke floats, but there's like all different variations, they're pretty cool. And you get like lollies in them and stuff, they look unreal, yeah. but yeah, so just wanted to let you guys know that it's not just all that, you can like make your own drink and stuff. The new donut shop in Disney Spring. That is very yes. true. <laughs> so this is it here. <laughs> and that is all the donuts. Everything do not do. All the 
donuts, Craigie. <laughs> so, Can you explain why they let's are get the weird one out of the way first. This is the everything donut. So it's like an everything bagel topping. So it's like... Is this like a savory donut? Yeah, it's like cream cheese, spring onions and like bacon or something. Well, it smells unreal though. But it's like literally... It tastes, it smells like cheese and chives, but it's a donut. Well, I mean, I, I'm here for that. It's poppy seeds on it too, so it's, it's like, like a bagel, but sweet. Does it work? It's, no. Does it, does it actually? Uh -huh. well, what's the donut consistency like? Spongy. It's not like overly sweet. Wow, that's so strange. It's a sugar donut too. What? Well, I love sweet and savory though. And it works, isn't it? Isn't it good? Now the real test is the next one because I can't compare that to Voodoo because Voodoo don't do savory donuts. Look oh. at it, guys. That's like a full candied orange. So the only problem is it's a donut with a hole in it. I thought it was filled. Is it not filled? I don't know. It's something cream. Maybe it's just cream on top of them. He's got a bit of everything, hang on. I think that verdict means it's not as good as we do, guys. <laughs> that face is telling me it all. This is a face of a defeated man. It is good. But they're not filled. But. I don't know if any of them are fully filled, like we do. Mm. The orange ice is class. Is it? Does it taste orangey? Does it? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was just going to be the cream. <gasps> What's the cream like? Oh, is that buttercream? Oh, I don't know. Is that buttercream? Is that just not good at all? <laughs> it is buttercream. Oh. The buttercream ruins it. No, it's not, is it? Uh, yeah. So this is average. This is great, but savory. But I don't actually think any of them are uh, like filled on the inside. Filled. No, I don't think so. Actually, now that I think of it, it doesn't look like it. That's very disappointing. No, guys, you tried them. I'm glad I tried it, but I am quite sad. Aww. I'm gonna eat some more of this one though. Okay. But unfortunately, Voodoo is still the king of donuts. This place doesn't even come close to Voodoo Donuts. Heard it here first. Also, it's more. I was hoping it would be as good or it's better. It's way more expensive. It's and it's way more expensive. Way, way more expensive. <clears throat> For the, how much was that? Six ninety five. That was thirteen dollars. I could have got at least five donuts in Voodoo, Voodoo for that. Yeah. Okay, hot right, news, just so, in. The more I eat this, the worse it is. <laughs> What do you mean, just sickly? Yeah, I think it's, it's now getting too sweet. Do you know what it is, you guys? They're massive donuts. Like, they picked the... What you're saying is not doing this justice. Yeah, I don't think I can eat this anymore. Well then, just don't eat it. I'm sorry. Craig's eyes are always bigger waste. than his belly. No, it's not that. I love donuts. Yeah, I'm just sad now. You wanted to try them. Well, like, the bright, on the bright side, you wanted to try it. You tried them. You learned your lesson. No. There we go. Not to be dramatic, but my whole haul is <laughs> Um. Just for further context, I rate, if from the UK, Greg's Donuts, the Greg's Pink Jammy, is a million times better than the donuts we just had. And a Greg's Pink Jammy, sorry, excuse me, is one pound. <laughs> and those were, well, it was taken to find the conversion were about five pound fifty. So, I would not recommend Everglades. Yes, we only tried two, but, I just, none of them are filled, so they're all ring donuts, and they're all very big, so they're all very dewy. So I don't know, it's not, not, not for it's me. It's not that we don't recommend them, but when the... Um, oh no I, no, I don't recommend them. When the donut game so is that strong in America, yeah. Yeah, like Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts is better as well. Yeah. And Krispy Kreme is also better. Am 
might be able to hear a guy covering Africa by Toto. Unpopular opinion, but I think Hold the Line is better. What do you think? Whatever you said. Okay, wait a minute. Good. I say that are gourmet marshmallows. Birthday cake, look at them. Oh, uh, probably not. Like, so I can actually show you what these look like. Yeah. yeah. So they're gourmet marshmallows. Basically, we have 16 of them in a box. So Ooh. this is birthday cake specifically. They're small, they're bite-sized, super easy to find and fun to share with. There's $11 per box. But they have a deal right now where you buy three and you can get the fourth one for free. Or if you buy six, you can get this one right here, which is our golden champagne marshmallow, which actually has 24 karat gold painted onto the top of the marshmallow, <laughs> which is pretty cool. This one on its Itself, like by itself is $24 but if you buy six you can get this one for free awesome. so yeah cool. there's 35 different flavors that you guys can check out I also I really like your top by the way oh, all the fruits you. are super thank cute you. <laughs> wait it's almost done <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah let it cool you want to try any? Mm. And if you want to bring some yeah, of the trees, you can yeah. So, you've seen the girl talk to us about marshmallows doing the old hard sell because we're the only people in there. I don't know about you, but I don't want to spend that amount of money on marshmallows. $16? Yeah, that's the, I mean, they need to be the best things. Four for carrot gold marshmallows? Mm -hmm. yeah. We've already spent $16 on two terrible donuts, so, you know. We're just going past Uniqlo, and how terrifying is it that those mannequins just slowly turn like that? Oh. It's actually real people, guys. Yeah, it's actually real people, yeah. Oh, that's horrendous. Okay guys, we're at Sprinkles and they have a cupcake ATM which always amuses me greatly. Right, so we're looking on. for a thing for Benny. Cupcake. We just got a price in and I'll bring him one. Six fifty. Oh, you get two bad. of them. Okay, we'll do that the day before we come home then, okay? Uh yeah, we don't want to do it today. Just so that we have a little bit of 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 a little I'm never gonna get over we're gonna, that. We're, gonna hear, we're not gonna hear the end of this You're story with the donuts. You're gonna hear that every day until I'm dead. Uh, actually, when I've been walking over here with Craig, he's like, I know this is going to sound dramatic, but I'm genuinely gutted at how bad the donuts were. I really am. I'm so excited. I built that place up for a full year. I think, I, says, I think he had such high expectations. Everyone said it was brilliant. They clearly haven't been to Voodoo. And they clearly <laughs> have a bloody clue what they're talking about. So we're just walking over to Morimoto Asia again. Um, because we're going to look, they have like a little um, street food hatch where you can just get like snacks out the side. I think they do noodle, noodles and stuff I'll show you when we get there. But we're just looking for something a little savoury. There's a poutine thing too, I don't know if you're feeling that. Yeah. There's cheese curds and fries, it's great, but we've had the yeah. amount of fries you got earlier. Yeah. I don't think it went I mean, anymore. it's not as if we spent and broke the bank with our space rest restaurant. Oh yeah, it's not like I'm now destitute after spending all that money on space too <laughs> That's where we were trying to go, but there's some sort of like... Event party, maybe like work party, and then it's like locked off. Yeah, and the food, the more money to go place is there, there, right in the middle of it all. Let me, let me zoom in. Can you see where that sign is? That's where we were trying to go. Yeah, but anyway, so onwards oh, to our next like stop. This is a good Okay, guys, we're looking at places to go, and like this is the actual size of the pizza. Nothing says America than this. I look at that. It's bigger than my hand. <laughs> like from my tip of my finger all the half up my arm. That's a slice of pizza. Well I see see if it is if we do go there. Jeez. Do we have agreed on Marie and Enzo? We went through so many places and didn't know what we wanted, so. Let's go we get a slice pizza. of pizza. It's cool thing about USA Jimmy. Yeah. That's very true. I might go in, I might think I'm slow and see. Guys, look at all the pizza. This is the one that people say is actually rated better than Blaze, but people go to Blaze because... Yeah, it's cheap. So is this? Yeah. Well, Definitely could have shared a slice of this. So Craig went for pepperoni. I don't even know if this is coming up. I mean, there's my hand for reference. Look at it. And then I went for 
I can't remember the name of it. San, San Gerano. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. So that is. we're going to have a bit of it each, but we're definitely going to share it. And then we just got a bad orange fruit. It's decent. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's still gigantic. Like, so that's the other bit of the plate when we're sitting. Oh, I cut that away, and I can maybe actually lift this. I'll try and make it awesome. Like, you should probably be just taking bites out of that. Okay, do you want to take mine over for a bit? Yeah, sure. It's very spicy. I think that's a strong point. Uh, what did you think of that? Um, so it was decent, good value for money, guys. Um, it's not like I'd go out my way to pick it, but I'm not really like a pizza pizza person. Yeah, it was alright. Um, but decent by the slice, you could definitely share it if you are coming here, because holy moly, that was a struggle. Um, so yeah. We've made it into the Lego store. Look at the Home Alone house! Also... The Spice Girls! How fast is that? No, I'm sorry, this... I would literally love to do this at Christmas with the... Oh my god, it's $300. <laughs> there is the Frozen Castle, and that's it, Bill. And then the actual Disney yeah, Castle. Disney Castle Bill. Wow. Look at it! That's cool. 349. Oh, that is so cool. That is so expensive. <laughs> that's so cool. And it's done in the 50th colour, 50th colour, so that's, that's amazing. amazing. Look at that. How much is that? 500? Why is the train so much more? Well, but has everybody been to like every... The castle's 469. Oh yeah, weird. Like, and there they are, brickheads. It seems like we said someone. Brickheads, you brickheads. <laughs> And look, there's Diagon Alley. That's so cool. There's Ginny. Woo! There we go, guys. That's $850. Like, wow. $850. Ultimate collector series. So we're heading to a basin. If you're someone who's come to Disney before, you will know you have to go to basin and wash your hands. Um, so you got the, the smoothest hands in the world. You do, but they have the best. Well, they don't products. have any ones in. What's guys, the smell in here. I'll let you open it. Enjoy watching us. Uh, yeah. Enjoy watching us smell things. Oh, oh unreal! Guys. Even the smell of these. They also have nice soap shows. Soap shows, amazing. But where's the little ones? Like, oh, look at these. Look at the Mickey ones. This one? Yeah. Oh, they smell so good. Just a little bit. Yeah. What do I do? And put that back in the bin. Oh, whoops. I don't know. Scrub for 30 seconds. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Oh, that's uh, rubbing my skin. Oh, oh, oh. I forgot I cut my hand. That was his cut from Volcano Bear. Okay, now I have a little wash under. Oh, my hands feel so nice. I actually don't have calluses from training at the minute. <laughs> Sorry, this is very exciting, isn't it, guys? Yeah. I'll make sure you lift your wrist. How do my hands feel? Oh, like a baby's bum. Oh, they are. That's crazy. But guys, they also do the little shapings, you know, that green bit that it down it. It's like a roof. Oh, that's me that's cool. Out of Basin, and now we're going to go into Kira Deli. They have super smooth hands. Yeah, we go, and they smell amazing. We might actually go back before we go home to get some soap, because it's so nice. We need to get some of these for everyone too. Mum like these, doesn't she? So we're going to go into Kira Deli, which is like the best chocolate, in my opinion, around here. Probably. Feel that. 40 squares for 19.90. Feel it. Some good chocolate That's though, isn't oh, it? Oh, you're like, I feel like everything. Well, so you can make your own wee boxes with the little individual ones. Or you can get an assortment. They also have like cool drinks and stuff. And yeah, cool Sundays in the other shop. So what do you do for this one? Pick a mix. 
a gold tin for 24 dollars a small gift for 16 a medium oh okay so then beside it is the Ghirardelli soda fountain and they do the best Sundays. Yes. We haven't had it this trip, but it was so good, yeah. It's their world famous. Right, no pill. <laughs> Sorry, I was that. So the world famous hot pot Sunday was really good. It was, yeah. That sounds nice too. I, I think you got something else, but I can't remember what it was. Did I? I know I got the Sunday and then you liked it too. Okay guys, we've had a good nosy around Disney Springs, haven't we? Yeah. Um, just more like a chilled I've, evening. I've said it before, but I love just walking around here. Yeah, it's such a nice vibe and just like, we've said it, but like the music and, and everything. We wouldn't normally do it two nights in a row. Honestly, we're not boring. <laughs> but we're just now going to make our way back to the Disney bus and get back to the resort. It's like 11 o'clock. And yeah, so we will catch you when we're back in Caribbean Beach. Boop. That's my belly boy, sorry guys, you had the experience there. Okay, stay nice and calm. Stay. Oh, you're so cute. You need to walk forward, guys. Okay, see, you, little bunny bunny. Okay. Oh. Guys, you're probably like, where the heck are you now? Why am I seeing socks and sliders? Yeah, please don't drag us. <laughs> I just want to take the shoe, other shoes off. So we got back to the resort after getting off the bus, you'd have saw the little rabbit running around here. And now we've come down to the hammocks, even though it's midnight. And uh, we're just lying here and thought we'd end the vlog here. The, Sorry, I'm just so relaxed. The hammocks are so relaxing, aren't they? Yeah, makes me think of the first time we were here. I remember we were lying here and then the thunderstorm started but it didn't rain for a while. Mm -hmm. We were just swinging here and it was just like lightning and thunder. It was just like, this is the best. So nice. Would you mind holding it? I feel like I can't hold it right. Okay, I got that So yeah, we're just chilling and we thought we would wish you all a good night from here. But first, let's do our highlight of the day. Craigie, highlight of today? Um, highlight of the day. Probably doing Guardians again, I think. It's such fun. Yeah, so we got on. Ooh. Oh, that's bright. Okay. Hello, past Monday. Goodbye. So yeah, we got on. We got on Guardians again. Um, that ride is so fun. Honestly, I can't cope with one bit of it. Well, I say I can't cope. It just makes me go. Oh, but it's so fun. Yeah, it's one little intense bit, but it's good fun. I think my highlight of today was. Um, Probably Guardians actually, yeah, I do agree. Get in the ride that I got on that. Um, I, wanted to, I would like, love to have said my highlight was Spice 220. I know, but we, guys, we were talking but about this again and we were, were like, it's not that we're disappointed, it's just like when you're paying that amount of money, particularly if you were a family, I just think it's an awful lot of money. Yeah, a family of four, that would have been, that bill would have been 200 and something dollars and it, me and Craig are very like if food is really good we do not mind paying for it we like we like we like quality good food but because yeah. it was just average and it was just like we feel well like, your steak frites the fries you got were just regular like fries you fries. get everywhere here they are yeah. nice like the steak but, was good you know. but it wasn't worth the money I paid I feel no um as we said just comparing it to Hannah's and Sanaa way better way more food for your money and especially with hannah's is family style all you can eat type thing so if you want more of anything you can get it and that bill was cheaper than what we paid for today yeah, so don't go to Swiss to um but yeah so uh, oh and i would have loved to have said also i had the best donuts ever but no but i'm not going to go down that road again <laughs> still too hot though we did eat the gideons earlier and i don't know if i said obviously i'll edit watch this back and when i'm editing but i did say that I get, I get the obsession with Gideon. Yeah, it's well, unreal. Well, good. well, well good. good. But yes, guys, with that being said, we are going to sign off for tonight. And yeah, give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel just so that you can see next week's video, which is going to be a random day. We're not sure what doing. We're coming to the end. Oh, well, I think we're doing international, going to International Drive and have a wee. 
having a wee walk about there because we haven't actually done it properly. Yeah, so we think we've gone into Nurse Drive. We're going to do other outlets, the other yeah. Vineland outlets, the ones that are closer to Disney. And we might go to one of the other resorts in the afternoon, and then we will hopefully be doing Magic Kingdom fireworks. Is that not Sunday? Well, maybe that's Sunday. I honestly can't remember. I'm too tired. Um, but yeah, we have a rough sort of plan. But obviously, we will bring you along and see you then. Not we might also go to the ro robot cafe. Oh yeah, there's a place in, at the top of our drive, a sushi restaurant that you're served oh, sushi by an angry robot. But actually that was the reason why we were not sure if we'll do it because we actually have Sebastian's the restaurant in our oh, hotel. Oh yeah, we're Sebastian's tomorrow, so I completely forgot. We're not sure if we'll get to oh, do maybe that. Maybe we won't do that. Oh, uh, I might not do that this trip. Oh well. We'll we see. We might do it on Sunday, we'll see. But yeah guys, love you. Oh, we are trying to relax. <laughs> Yeah guys, please excuse my big goofy hair right now. We will, I will love you and leave you and yeah, send a love and positivity to each and every one of you. Take care, catch you in the next one. Bye, love you so Bye. much.